So the question over here is the treatment of choice for reduction of this fracture would be what you see over here in the image is a, an edentulous mandible where there is a lot of bone loss because the length height of the bone if you can notice over here is very less and it is a simple fracture in the sense that it is only a single fracture where with two separate fragments so based on this we have to give a proper treatment modality for this patient amongst the four options let's just go through them and let's try to eliminate the options and understand the answer better first one is reconstruction plate with four screws on either side of the fracture line second is reconstruction plate with two screws on either side of the fracture line third is lax screw fixation and fourth is one mini plate with three screws on either side of the fracture line what we need to remember is the patient over here is an edentulous patient since the patient is edentulous he is and he is not going to have enough masticatory stresses number one number two is that the mandible over here is extremely atrophic and it has become the height is res uh, very less that means there has been a lot of resorption of the bone that has occurred so if you give a whatever uh, method of fixation you will use over here we have to remember that the mandible as such already is fractured it is of a poor quality and it is not going to be able to withstand whatever forces are going to be delivered to the bone so we will have to give a plate which is able to bear the stresses and is able to contribute to being the major source of uh, withstanding all the forces that are going to be applied to the bone by transferring it to the plate so the answer should be a reconstruction plate because lax screws fixation as well as mini plate fixation both are load sharing fixations they are not load bearing what is a load bearing fixation is the plate will bear all the forces that are applied to it whereas on a load sharing the plate as well as the bone both will be able to bear the forces a load sharing fixation is used if the height of the mandible is enough and there are enough other factors like for example a younger patient would be able to withstand this better because there is more vascular supply in the bone whereas in an older patient the bone marrow is going to be replaced by a fatty marrow which is going to create more problems and it is going to be a very brittle structure that is the reason why we use a reconstruction plate now amongst the options given over here you have two options which is reconstruction plate with four screws and reconstruction plate with two screws usually reconstruction plates are large plates and they need a very good amount of stabilization and if you give only two screws on either side of the fracture line the uh, plate is not going to be well adapted or it's not going to be well maintained or fixed to the bone on the other hand if you use a reconstruction plate with four pins on or four screws on either side of the fracture line this will help in extra stability of the uh, bone as well as the plate in addition to that the four screws also help in uh, maintaining the fixation for a longer duration of time one of the biggest disadvantages of reconstruction plates is that since they are load bearing fixations they cause that a vascular necrosis or they cause atrophic necrosis of the bone why because the bone over here one of the most important properties of bone is remodeling based on function since the bone is not bearing any of the masticatory forces the bone is unable to remodel that means it is not in function at all because of that it undergoes atrophy and undergoes necrosis that is the reason when we are placing a bone bearing fixation we have to ensure that the period of fixation is much lesser and can be later on replaced by a load sharing fixation